want to take care of the baby every time I go to work. It's going to cost how much? More than we can afford. I'll sell you that for nothing. Well, that's daft, that. I mean, how can you not be able to afford to go back to work? I mind the charge is two fifty an hour. I get paid three quid an hour. But by the time I've paid it off, I'll come out of an eight-hour shift with four quid in my pockets, and that's before tax or anything. It's not worth it, Jimmy. Oh, well, that's it, isn't it? I'll have to look for something else. Another part-time job. Here, take me lad out. Who's this? Hello. Mm. Oh, come in, Julia. Hiya, love. How are you? Oh, thanks. Oh, well, that's a good sign. What? You sitting down? Oh, I was a martyr to my stitches. I wouldn't venture outside the door without my rubber ring. <laughs> no, everything's fine in that department, thanks. Oh, well, I'll give you this, then. Seeing as yours one didn't even have the common courtesy to accept a gift. It's, a. Uh, just a little something I knitted for your Calvin. <laughs> Calvin? <laughs> Where did you get that from? His name's William. Well, that's not what he told me. Are you taking the rise out of me again? Uh, some people would believe anything, wouldn't they, love? Jimmy. What? Don't you what me? What's going on? Nothing, love, honest. Show me the birth certificate. Now. Calvin William James Corkill. I don't believe you, Jimmy. Where did you get a name like that from? Oh, I know where I saw it now. It was on the side of a bus. Oh, don't talk soft, you. I beg your pardon, but I did. I can remember it as clear as day. Well, I would, wouldn't I, under the circumstances? On the side of a bus. It was a great big picture of some fella showing his... meat and true veg. He was. It's some top American designer fella, isn't it, eh? I thought it sounded stylish. What's style got to do with it? He looked like he had five pound of King Edward shoved down there. I don't believe you, Jimmy. You've named our son after a pair of underpants. <laughs> 